Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, I beg AMD not to do it. Free PC performance, Intel's 12th gen CPU's first review, an RTX 4000 and RX 7000 release. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, video cards reportedly received images from a reader that shows off yet another mining GPU from AMD. Remember that not long ago, I discussed a leaker claiming that AMD would release mining cards for their entire RDNA 2 lineup, as well as showed you one of the supposed cards. Well, now there's a new card which apparently comes from China. As for the specs, it comes with the same specs as AMD's RX 6700M, which likely means it's a Navi 22 GPU. Either way, it's looking like the leaker was right, which could mean GPUs intended for gamers will end up in mining cards. Maybe they're using bin cards that can't be used in their gaming lineup? I don't know. Just please don't do it, Andy. From please. My soul. Are you someone who doesn't settle for anything other than the best? Then I've got the PC Builder for you with today's sponsor, Digital Storm. With over 20 years of experience building high-end custom PCs, Digital Storm knows a thing or two about gaming PCs. And because of that, they can offer enthusiast-level upgrades from custom sleeve cables to full-on GPU and CPU water cooling. I mean, look at that tidy cable management. And you can customize it however you want, from the motherboard, memory, all the way up to a Threadripper CPU. Plus, Digital Storm installs and tests everything before it's shipped out, so it's basically just plug and play. And each build comes with lifetime support, one year parts warranty, and three years labor. So get the best PC built just for you by visiting the link in the description below. Next up for today, while Windows 11 officially won't support 1st gen Ryzen or certain 7th gen Intel and below processors, it looks like it'll give you a massive performance boost. In a new video on the Microsoft Mechanics channel, Windows Management Team VP Steve Dispensa discussed some of the performance improvements on Windows 11 over Windows 10. For starters, he goes over the work Microsoft has put into prioritizing resources for applications based on what's in the foreground, meaning the app you're currently using gets system priority over background apps. He actually gave an example of an app taking up 90% of your system resources, but new apps open and work just as fast as they would because it prioritizes those first. Next, they added the ability to sleep inactive tabs in your browser, which cuts system resources by 32% less memory and a whopping 37% less CPU usage. Next, they optimized Resume from Sleep by 25%, making Resume nearly instant, along with smaller hardware function calls so input is more responsive. And finally, Microsoft reduced overall disk usage, which ultimately reduces Microsoft update size by as much as 40%. Overall, the performance enhancements do sound nice for Windows 11, but the fact that so many fairly new processors aren't supported is a bit disheartening. Next up, we have what looks to be the first review of Intel's upcoming 12th gen CPUs. The review originally comes from a Persian PC outlet and later shared by known leaker Momomo underscore US. What's wild is that it includes both pricing and multiple benchmarks on the three main KF CPUs, but it's missing some important details like test bench, operating system, etc. So it's important to keep that in mind. Either way, when it comes to benchmarks, things are seriously impressive. For starters, we have a single core test in Cinebench R23, which shows the 12th gen parts completely destroying everything before it. I mean, if this is true, this really is big. Next is the multi-core, which puts the 12,900KF right next to the 5950X, the 12,700KF beating the 5900X, and the 12,600KF beating the 5800X. Next is CPU encoding, which shows the 12,900KF beating the 5950X and X264, essentially tying an X265 and losing an HWBOT X265. Then you can see similar results with the 12,700KF against the 5900X, and finally the 12,600KF competes similarly as the others against the 5800X. Next up, we have a benchmark from Blender, which shows 12th gen competing, though easing out a loss against their higher up rising counterparts. And finally, we have PC Mark, which is an odd one. It looks like it may have been running Windows 10 because it not only loses to AMD, but even last gen Intel parts. So this is obviously an outlier. 
With all of that said, if these end up being accurate, it's like what I said before. It would mean Intel's new Alder Lake parts compete with Ryzen's higher up parts. So the 12700K or KF would actually go against the 5950X, 12700K against the 5900X, etc. And this brings us to the price. According to this, the 12900K is $599 US, the 12700K is $429, the 12600K is $279, etc. And while that sounds bad, when we compare this to AMD's parts, it would make the 12900K $200 less than AMD's 5950X, the 12700K is $120 less than the 5900X, and the 12600K is $170 less than the 5800X. Basically, if this is right, Intel's upcoming 12th gen parts are game changing and it will almost certainly force AMD to lower prices, even with their upcoming Ryzen 3D parts. Of course, Zen 4 could see AMD come back big. Time, as always, will tell. And lastly for today, it looks like we have the launch timing for Nvidia's upcoming supercards, as well as their RTX 4000 and AMD's RX 7000 GPUs. First up, we have a tweet from known leaker Graymon55, who reiterated an earlier tweet to say that he's sure the RTX Super Laptop cards are coming early next year. Unfortunately, he didn't mention desktop variants, but those will likely come eventually. The most interesting part is in a reply to another user, where Graymon55 stated that next-gen GPUs will be in October of next year, and he later stated that he didn't just mean NVIDIA's GPUs, so he's likely talking about both AMD and NVIDIA. Now, he could be more or less guessing, but the specific month of October definitely seems more concrete. Either way, late next year sounds to be the date for next-gen GPUs. Let's just hope we can finally buy GPUs when they're released. And speaking of, make sure you enter my RX 6800 non-XT GPU giveaway. Just follow the link in the description and make sure you're subscribed to the channel for your chance to win an RX 6800 GPU. So while that does it for today, are you excited for Intel's 12th gen CPUs or are you ready for next gen GPUs? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.